Note, please watch the whole video before jumping to conclusions or going to the comments and acting like you've seen it. Salutations, Lamb Fam, yours truly Simon A, and Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this year's April Fool's Day video. I kind of threw it together at the last minute since April Fool's Day this year is literally the day after Easter. And it's not easy for me to switch to one holiday immediately after celebrating another. That's not what I'm going to talk about today. For this, this video, I'm going to talk about the fact that today marks exactly five years since I pulled off the biggest and probably most chaotic April Fool's Day prank ever in the history of my YouTube channel. I'm seeing some of you may remember what I'm talking about, but for those who don't, let me tell you what happened. Okay, so it took place on April Fool's Day of 2019. Back then, my channel was only three years old, and back then, I was 16 years old. So, pretty young. Basically, I had an idea from another YouTube channel where he privated all of his videos and pretended that his channel was hacked on April Fool's Day. So I thought, hey, why don't I do the same? So, on April Fool's Day, so yeah, basically on April Fool's Day of 2019, I pretended that my YouTube channel was hacked by my sibling. Not my actual sibling, yeah, yeah, I have a sibling, but not my actual sibling, but like, basically kind of like a character that I created for the sake of the joke. So yeah, I basically did a lot to make it look like, you know, my channel got hacked. First, I changed my profile pic and banner to a bunch of cursed pics. Then, on exactly midnight on April Fool's Day, I posted a video that was probably the most fucked up thing I've ever posted on my channel. Yeah, I literally went that far. If Walt Disney saw it, he'd be rolling in his fucking grave, but that besides the point. I wrote in the description, Yo, that's right, all you dog sucking pieces of shit. I found out that my motherfucking mad stupid little brother's password to his cringy ass YouTube channel, and I'm gonna be, uh, you, you get the idea. But basically, I made some posts where I was acting like my pretend sibling, you know, acting like, um, all gangster and shit, you know, swearing s too much, you know. I didn't say anything, like, bad, or, like, no slurs or anything. Don't worry. But I did say some pretty disrespectful stuff about some people that I like. That, obviously, I would never say if it weren't April Fool's Day and I wasn't doing a joke. But that wasn't all I did to make it seem like my channel was hacked. This was the biggest and probably the most risky part. And that was privating every single one of my YouTube videos to make it look like all of them got removed or something. And believe me, that wasn't easy because like making all of your videos private simultaneously is a big risk because you got to make sure you don't mess up and accidentally press delete or something for real. Because if you do, then, well, you just made the biggest mistake of your life. I mean, if I did that, I don't know how I'd handle that. I mean, luckily right now, I've archived every single video I've made and put them on a flash drive. But I made some posts acting like a dick, acting like, oh, I'm gonna hack my little brother's YouTube channel. Oh, he's so stupid, you guys are stupid. I'm gonna be posting a lot of sex videos and stuff. <laughs> well, not really sex videos, because obviously YouTube doesn't allow that, but you know. Basically, think of the most unhinged, fucked up things a generic troll on the internet would say, and that's basically what I said in character. Now, some people, they could tell from the get-go that it was a prank, but others, they were pretty fucking worried about my channel and actually thought it was hacked. But being the dumbass that I was back then, I didn't want to go ahead and tell them, don't worry, this is just a prank, April Fool's. Now, I wanted to make it believable until I posted another video revealing that it was a prank all along. Yeah. But yeah, it did get a little, it did get crazy. Yeah, it did get crazy. Heck, the video that I posted, the, the troll video, got a lot of dislikes and stuff, and a couple people unsubscribed from my YouTube channel. So basically, yeah, I made it seem genuine that my channel was hacked. I put a, a ridiculous amount of effort into it. 
Eventually, I posted a video revealing that it was a prank all along. And some people liked it. Other, pe other people weren't surprised. And some were pissed. One, a friend of mine who actually was worried about my uh, channel being hacked and thought it was legit, he was pissed at me when I revealed that it was a prank all along. And you know, in retrospect, I don't blame him at all for being mad at me. Because, you know, uh, he was worried about my channel. I kept, you know, making it seem like it was a prank or something. That wasn't a big deal. But, you know, it was, it was a big deal. Like, I did take it too far. And it was... It was crazy. It was crazy. I mean, I mean, it, it's crazy how much effort I put into making it look like my channel was hacked. Even doing stuff I would never normally do and saying stuff I wouldn't normally post on YouTube. But in the end, uh, things got back to normal. My channel got back to normal. And that was pretty much the end of it. It was actually a pretty stupid prank, really. I mean, yeah, I did it. I did actually made my may look like my channel got hacked but at the same time some people were actually worried about my channel and stuff i mean even if it was a kind of even if it was a big prank i realize right now looking back on it that i took it kind of too far and it was just so to all those who actually were worried about my channel or something and were probably upset when they found it was just a prank and I got them all worried for nothing. I want to apologize really. I took it too far. It was it was definitely I went overboard and you know I kinda of regret doing that joke. I, 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 I had the joke on way too long. It was just it was crazy. Yeah, April Fool's Day can be fun. It's a day where you can't really trust anything you see or read or hear on the internet. But I should have just made it simply playful and not something big and unhinged and chaotic. That's why ever since then, you know, I tried to make sure my April Fool's Day videos are more playful, more creative, and just... I just basically made sure I didn't try to pull another stunt like that. It was... It was... <laughs> It was a stupid prank, really. It was a big prank. But would I say it's the best April Fool's Day prank I've ever done? Definitely not. The best April Fool's Day prank I did was back in 2022 when I got Jeffy from SML to say that he was taking over my YouTube channel. What's up, guys? It's me, Jeffy, and I'm taking over Baby Lamb Creations YouTube channel. And I know he does, like, piano videos and stuff, so I got my cat piano here, so I'm gonna give you a cat piano solo. That was the best April Fool's Day prank ever, because someone was taking over my YouTube channel, but it wasn't something crazy, it wasn't something unhinged. Ironically, the, the character doing it was pretty is already pretty controversial on his own, but not something that got people worried about my channel. Just something they could have a good laugh over, and I think that's what the whole point of April Fool's Day is all about: for people to laugh. In the end, I I know you're probably wondering why are you saying this five years later. Nobody complained about it. Nobody called you out for it or anything, and I know. But honestly, I kind of felt guilty about that whole prank and stuff. So I wanted to do a video reflecting on what happened and telling you how I feel right now. I mean, like I said, I was 16 when that happened. I was young and stupid back then. I'm 21 now. So yeah, I have grown since then. And I definitely won't do another stupid stunt like that again. But uh, yeah, hope you guys understand. And uh, for those of you who weren't even there when it happened, good for you. Take what I've learned as a lesson, and just don't do the same shit that I did, okay? All right, good.